Assalamualaikum viewers. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to this live session. अच्छा आज का हमारा जो live session है वो थोड़ा सा different है because physically मेरे पास मेरे guest साथ इधर नहीं है. Instead, our guest today is in Bourbon. So हम live and she has been very nice to join us today by live streaming. So before I introduce her, मैं आपको आज की topic के बारे में बताती हूँ. पहले मैं आपके साथ एक स्टेटमेंट शेयर करने जा रही हूँ विच आई केम अक्रॉस टूडे ये वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का स्टेटमेंट है दैट गुड हेल्थ इज नॉट जस्ट द एबसेंस ऑफ अ डिजीज इट इज अ स्टेट ऑफ कंप्लीट फिजिकल सोशल एंड मेंटल वेल बींग दिस स्टेटमेंट मुझे आपके साथ इसलिए शेयर करना था बिकॉज इट परफेक्टली फिट्स इन विद सेशन दैट वी हैव टूडे आज कल के जो हालात चल रहे हैं जो ये चैलेंजिंग टाइम है फॉर ऑल ऑफ अर्स और अगर हम देखें तो बिफोर ऑल दिस हैपन ये कोरोना वायरस बिफोर यू नो हमें हिट किया तो इट वाज सो इजी टू स्टे एक्साइटेड एंड बी मोटिवेटेड अबाउट स्मॉल थिंग्स लेकिन यू नो व्हेन दिस इम्पॉसिबल हैपन अभी तो यही क्वेश्चन होता है कि ये लॉकडाउन कब खत्म होएगा व्हेन विल लाइफ गो बैक टू नॉर्मल सो टू एक्सप्लेन दिस um you know um through her own words or hame motivate karne um we have today a life coach with us um and her topic is how to stay motivated and increase learning during lockdown mai thodi si aapko unke bare mein introduction de deti hu zufi shan hasib is a life coach international keynote speaker with a background of developmental psychology she is the man managing partner at the intec solutions which has started 24 years ago by her and her husband hasib after 20 years in dubai she moved back to pakistan and currently resides in bourbon so we well assalam alaikum sufian how are you assalam alaikum noreen i'm well aap kaise ho mai theek hu alhamdulillah and how is bourbon lovely view oh. from behind it looks beautiful yes. it's beautiful and it rained this morning and uh, to put it metaphorically and physically this is the longest social distance that i can be from everybody i just have the pine <laughs> forest and the mountains to myself so it's a good place to be in a lockdown yeah. situation alhamdulillah definitely definitely we love to be there right now as well i can so fishan obviously with everything going on you know with this pandemic how important it is it right now to have a strong mindset aapke is pe views kya hai aapke thoughts hame hame saath share kare please noreen um most of us inshallah uh, because we're very small percentage people might be afflicted to the virus itself but it is affecting each and every person on the planet and i'm talking about mental health physically to khuda na khas tak sorry to is it technical difficulties ho rahi hai we are trying to take back zufishan online thodi si net mein garbad ho rahi hai हम कोशिश कर रहे हैं थोड़ी सी टेक्निकल डिफिकल्टी जूफीशान की साइड से हो रही है सो वी आर ट्राइंग अर बेस्ट व्यूअर्स प्लीज ऑल एन ओ शी इज बैक शी इज बैक हेलो ओके कैन यू प्लीज लाइव बैक ऑन ट्रैक यस वी आर बैक ऑन वी आर बैक ऑन लाइव ओके 
so you asked what's what's going to happen you quoted a quotation so what i was saying was that the mental repercussions of yes. of corona virus are going to be even more significant than the virus itself because mm. abhi sab koshish kar rahe hain social distance wagaira taki wo physically affect na ho but the impact of this lockdown and cordon off kind of feeling is having a great impact on the psyche of people so jitna important hai ki hum apne aap ko physically apne immune system ko strong kare uh, dur rahe from uh, crowds etc utna hi important hai ki hum apne aap ko mentally strong kare bilkul not only for this particular time of hmm. so i wanted to share with you what i feel is going on um we have been shaken out of our comfort zone all yeah. of us hamari ek routine life thi for the people who worked in organization every day 9 to 5 or whatever their timings were kids going to school other social activities happening lekin all of a sudden a total change aa gaya so we've been shaken out of our comfort zone it's kind of creeped up on us and we don't know really what to do in this situation because for some of us this is the first time so yes. hum comfort zone se jo nikle hain hum ab fear or panic zone ke andar aa gaye hain in mm-hmm. fact uh, one of my favorite writers neil donald walsh uh, he says uh, that the end at the end of your comfort zone is where life actually begins yes. so if we don't do something about it we are not yes. going to come out winners as much as we mm-hmm. thought it would be so mm-hmm. fair zone ki thodi si main baat kar rahi hu ke uh, fair zone ke andar anxiety aati hai anxiety aapne dekha ye how different people are responding to it it's uh, you know people started hoarding stuff they started forwarding each and every post that was on covid 19 yes. in fact wo jo ek meme bhi chal rahi thi ke you know everybody has done their phd uh, in covid now everybody has become a doctor <laughs> everybody has sure. become um, an economist etc so ye sab kuch ho raha tha the next point is the more dangerous one that anxiety leads to anger anger within the family kis pe anger nikalta hai jo pass honge us waqt koi employees ya team members to honge nahi so that anxiety when it doesn't have any other outlet it comes on as anger or mm-hmm. families ki annoying habits jo pata nahi thi kyunki ek break mil jati thi wo bhi samne <laughs> hone uh, zahir hone lag jati hai Mm-hmm. right so well, the right. thing is that mm-hmm. one anxious person actually destroys the harmony of the household and each and every family member needs to think about that ke yeah. aisi situation hai already emotions are strung high so more than ever everybody needs to maintain uh, their sanity so you know yeah. noreen in my training workshops the uh, the complaint that i usually get from people who are working is that i have no work life balance ab jab ke ek opportunity mil gayi hai of having both within of yes. course uh, the four walls of the house uh-huh. people are making life hell, hell for each other yeah because it's not that And easy it's not that, that i actually ha nahi bilkul like it's obviously not but in in nahi nahi kuch Maybe Sorry, like another thing, you know, obviously with the coronavirus, you know, it's altered how, how you know we now live our everyday lives. How important is it to try and maintain a normal routine? Just like if we have come to the job, we have to wake up, to shower, to make up, 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 to make oh it's it's very it's imperative now more so than ever but uh, you know a quote here which is very interesting how would you play the game if no one was watching so uh, you know so do we just change for the sake of other people do we get dressed do we have a routine because our paychecks are linked to that it tells us this time is going to tell us more about ourselves our personalities as well but coming back to what i was yeah. saying earlier as well i mean with the kids around 
poor things. I mean, whatever age, children are not mature enough to handle such crisis situations. So these poor creatures, they are kind mm. of confused because there's so much negativity is there. So what I was saying was, I'll come back to what kind of a routine people can have in their household. And that is what can motivate them. I'm sorry, invite But to what extent can I motivate anybody if they don't want to be motivated themselves? Because it's something very, very internal. So uh, just, just the last few lines on that. That first. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no, so you go ahead. No, no, Mishan. I was saying that, that uh, we came out of the comfort zone. We are in a panic and fear zone, but this is not the end. The most important two zones are going to be learning and growth, and that will be the part of our second half of the talk. That hum ab keh rahe hain, har koi keh raha hai, ki, you know, it, there should be la some learning and growth coming out of it. But kahan karun? where do I begin? So uh, I will I will first talk about how you can motivate yourself, what kind of a routine everybody has to have. But mm -hmm. whatever is our locus of control, we can only do that. We can't change that the whole world is on lockdown. But keeping those uh, kind of parameters in mind, what I can do each and every day is going to have an impact whether I'll be motivated or demotivated. So first of all, this yeah, if uh, before I begin, any questions from you, Noreen? Before I begin, at what kind of a routine there needs to be? Um, obviously, according to studies, um, loneliness can be damaging, and lockdown is sort of you know a form of being lonely, and apparently is as bad as smoking fifteen cigarettes a day. How important is it for an individual to stay connected to the outside world? It's it is very because um, I, we human beings are social animals. We cannot survive alone. And I, uh, my heart goes out to people who are totally alone. But I've seen some very brave individuals who've been who've been coming out with videos. They are they are keeping themselves amused literally. So it mm -hmm. all comes down to how I approach uh, this kind of a lockdown. Uh, usually, ye hota hai ki morning mein when we when we get up. Last yeah. night, we went to sleep with that anxiety. What's going to happen? What's what's tomorrow going to be? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Har koi anxiety ke hai. and what is mm -hmm. the first thing people do? They reach for their phones. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, my first recommendation <laughs> is that you when you wake up and your eyes are still closed. Sorry. No, I'm just saying you're right. First thing we check is the latest update on Corona. Every morning, that's all yeah. it is. Sorry, uh, sorry to say we are trying to play God. I mean, even if we got some message, what, what can we do? It's not in our control, but our own reaction, our own emotions are in our control, no matter what somebody thinks. So mm -hmm. the first thing that you do before opening your eyes is to wake up with a prayer of gratitude that, you know, Alhamdulillah. I have a roof over my head, I'm breathing, another day is here, and do not touch your phone for at least half an hour. Those messages are not going anywhere. So mm. delay the anxiety as much as possible. That's the first thing. Then the second thing is make your bed. Okay. It really helps. What we are doing is we are trying to do our things to do. And the first thing it, it says that, you know, when you've done the first tick mark of the day, it creates a kind of a happy feeling of achievement. So yeah. make your bed. It's, it's, it's a very good way to start your day. And then, of course, mm -hmm. have a healthy breakfast. Do not delay it. We are trying to bring a routine into our life. Uh, try to change from your local uh, general uh, regular breakfast. And avoid stimulants, please. Two stimulants, which are going to create more anxiety, are going to be sugars. Like we have, uh, you know, refined sugars. We have coffee. So try to have something different, uh, like slow energy release kind of breakfast. And that that is a champion's breakfast and then sets up for our day. And then we get dressed. Come on, I, I hear of my friends who say, oh, why nobody's coming? I'll start the stay yeah, in my PJs. Sarah, yeah, 
Yeah. And do you know something, Alshad, if you because I observe postures myself as well as others, you have a different walk when you're wearing your PJs or when you're dressed to kill. So already, if we are in our PJs, we are telling Definitely. ourselves, oh, let me be lazy. Let me take it slow. Like I can be sloppy. So just as a routine, it's the best thing that you dress as you would on any any kind of yeah, a normal day. As well. mm -hmm. Yes, of course. And uh, for all those who are working from home, wake up before it's time for you to be actually online with your team members or from your office. Plan your day. Mm -hmm. Plan your entire waking hours of what you're going to do. You of already you know what when you're going to be. And the funny part is for people who are working, they don't they need to do plan in three aspects. Plan for self, okay. plan for the team members, and plan for the family. Family, yeah. So, so, so planning let's, and let's prioritizing is important. Very important. Very important. Mm -hmm. What it's doing to you is it's improving your planning skills. Even mm -hmm. if nothing else happens, you will come out of this particular lockdown as better mm -hmm. planners. Because, you know, mm -hmm. usually when we go to office, we are linked to what's uh, what's waiting for us at our tables. But if you plan your own family, your family, your own family, your own team members. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I'll talk a little bit about planning for the team members. Um, in, for, the first thing is start start your day by asking them what their fears, their concerns are. This kind mm -hmm. of communication does not happen on a day-to-day -day office basis. So it's a good start. Some current tasks can be talked about. And then mm -hmm. the pending things which haven't been done for months or years, maybe organizing some kind of a database or doing some kind of a research. So these tasks can be uh, further delegated to the people, but it should all be the planning of that particular day. Then in the breaks, etc., uh, have some team building activities, have game games for your team members because calm as it is, it's difficult working online. So there should yeah. be frequent breaks. And another good thing that can come about working from home is a kind of a platform where everybody can give each other feedback and and be open to feedback from each other. All yeah. right? How important is Next this? comes exercise plan. Again, you excuse to not do exercise. Those who are late sitters in banks, they say, this is the time uh, to it's be active. very, very important, not just to be thin, not just to lose weight, but kind mm -hmm. of uh, mental sanity. Because yeah. anxiety later will yeah. give way to depression and mental blocks. So whenever mm -hmm. we exercise, you know, endorphins are released. Endorphins yeah. release only, which is a happy hormone. So we will be in a better state of mind. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, it's it's imperative that we exercise each and every day, whether it's just 15 minutes, whether it's just stretching. It is more important than ever to exercise and involve the family. Why can't the kids, everybody, they mm -hmm. could be a regime yeah. where everybody gets involved because the, yeah. the health of the family is equally important. Okay? Yeah. Um, then two, uh, two slots of time that are important during the day is one is half an hour to worry. But that's the only time to worry about Half an hour. I'm also saying half an hour is a lot, but give yourself that half an hour that I'm going to worry about everything from A to Z happening in this world. And then one hour of no phones, no news, no talking about the coronavirus, etc. Mm -hmm. These things are also a good good zone to have in, in uh, the daily routine. Mm -hmm. Then other things to do is listen to upbeat music. I was I was talking to my friends in yeah. uh, in Dubai, my South African friends, and they say they put on BG song, staying alive, and then yeah. they you know kind of just just yeah. to change the mood inside. Please don't listen to yeah. Rone Wale Gane or everything. Yeah. Listen to Coke Studio, no. which are good yeah. uh, fun exactly. songs. So music changes mood as well. Yeah. What we are trying to do is break the pattern 
of the mind that is always anxiety that related. That is the main thing. Yes, definitely. Then you should say, Nori, cab cabin. Yes, definitely. And you were talking about cabin fever, uh, other cool. than exercise, How also cabin kind of claustrophobic. You can. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, if you're living in an apartment, I'm so sorry. And if you have a balcony, go to the balcony. Just be with yourself. Open a window, but do something about it. I know so it fresh can fresh air is important. Window. Fresh air, fresh air oh. is re really important. Sorry. Having fresh air during you know the time that you're inside, right. going the out, thing that we can do is connect with our friends. You were talking about connecting. How important it is. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, uh, you know, a bit of sunlight in the mornings is good for you because sunlight also has an impact on anxiety and certain mental health issues. Sorry, we slightly went offline. We are back on. Absolutely. Yes, we are back Absolutely. On. It is very, very important to get some fresh air. Sorry, Noreen, sometimes uh, the the connection lags. So yeah. apologies if we, uh, can hear you. to the uh, everybody who's watching as well, if we overlap on that. The next thing is I was talking about, I'll repeat that, is connect with your friends. People you mm -hmm. haven't connected for a long time. We used to live in Singapore about... Uh, 20, 20 plus years ago. So we've made a group. We've, we've decided on a time that people that we haven't connected. Yeah. So connecting with friends that you haven't connected for a long period of time. Definitely, yeah. Then the most important thing is me time. Get mm -hmm. a break from the family. Get a, get a break from work, but away from phone. Just just be with yourself, either as a self-reflection or uh, it could be a time that you meditate, which is, again, a very important regime to have within the day. Or just breathe like 10, 15 deep breaths are going to change uh, your entire mood uh, precisely. One more thing that people have forgotten is journaling. Mm. Write down what you're feeling. Sometimes it's difficult for families to communicate as to what they are going through. But journaling is a good habit to start now. Write down. Write down your fears, your anxieties, your optimism, anything that bothers you. Don't let it fester. Yes, absolutely. Um, okay. Then uh, reading. I have mm -hmm. about five more points, actually seven, about the routine. Uh, reading self-help books or reading anything, please. Look, uh, our medium in communication within the corporates is English, but people have a lot left desired in their communication either. So if you don't self-help books, read any book because it's going to improve your vocabulary, it's going to improve your grammar. On Facebook, you'll stop putting your rather than your, uh, etc. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. jokes. What I'm trying to say is, if you skill building, ki karni hai, so read. <laughs> reading is a very, very good skill to start yeah. now for. Um, and, then, and then hobbies. Noreen, mm -hmm. did you ever have a hobby in your life? No, I don't think I ever did. Since after I had my kids, it all went downhill. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now is a good time. Now is a it good is. time uh, to create hobbies <laughs> for all those people. Uh, if cooking can be a hobby because it's it's a very mindful activity, or gardening. I've started a compost which I've never done before in big plastic bottles. Oh, uh, wow. you know, the mineral okay. water bottle. Yeah, mm -hmm. and in in the Egg containers, I've started germinating, lemon, tomato, whatever seeds I can find, mint, uh, uh, dhania, etc. Start painting, sketching. Yeah. 
म्यूजिक सिंगिंग अगर बुरी आवाज है तो सिर्फ फैमिली मेंबर्स ही सुनेंगे सो दिस नो हार्म इन ट्राइंग टू गिव इट अ ट्राई हु नोस मे बी इट्स अ हिडन टैलेंट दैट यू हैव एज आई सेड राइटिंग मे बी यू कैन बिकम अ ब्लॉगर इन सम टाइम और डूइंग अ जर्नल यू कैन स्टार्ट योर मेमोआज इवन मतलब टाइम ये सब लोग कहते हैं कि कुछ करने को नहीं है दिस सो मच टू डू यू कैन स्टार्ट अ न्यू लैंग्वेज यस or yoga or even dancing with the family you know anything at all think of what you can do uh, mm. as a hobby and i'll i'll share with you why i am insisting on that as well another thing is plan out playing games with your family whether okay. whether your kids are young young it yeah. could be different games i mean i played ludo after 20 years and maybe uh, a decade i played cluedo i couldn't even think what to think about or pictionary <laughs> you know charades antakshari yeah. with mm. younger kids simon says yeah. you know anything but happy memories what you're building you want to build with your family is happy memories and if nothing else throw a question at your family a deep profound and wait mm. for their answers it's a good time to communicate definitely and uh, then there are the documentaries and podcasts that you know you can have so much learn new knowledge etc and one more thing um, noreen that it's i always used to say i don't have time to take online courses maybe i want to do something on something creative um uh, on computers or any not enroll for an online so you can do it with your own pace Coursera is a good platform jahan aap kisi online course ke liye and uh, spring already aa gayi hui hai spring clean kare spring clean your laptop please look at your laptop your desktop is a mess your files are all over the place it's a good time to organize your bedside your cupboards throw away clothes uh, you know uh, get at the end so clean yes and yes and you know mess equals stress so spring clean actually of physical Just space clean. is actually yeah. spring clean of the mind as well definitely and um, what well i was talking about you know playing games with the family members i remember mm-hmm. i was very young when the two wars happened between india and pakistan and at that yeah. time i still have memories of what we used to do or whenever yeah. certain crisis hit so this is the time your kids are going to remember long long after this chaos is over so yeah. make happy I mean, memories and yeah, the I final actually, thing which yeah. is most important is to to yes go ahead no i was just saying i was actually discussing with one of my is colleagues there? this morning like now you have these online games where you can play as a family but i said the traditional board games you know that that's what should be coming back in we should be sitting as a family playing board games together at this time just for that closeness again and you know like you said with being at home you know becoming irritated with each other these family activities are very very important um before internet or before uh, cable came to our lives well i'm an old timer so i remember those times Uh, these games used to give so much joy you know kuch gharon mein carrom board hota tha and there used to be fights over it and you know it used to bring a certain happiness as a family so they are very very important and the final thing before sleeping is what we got up in the morning is that start making a, a gratitude list of mm-hmm. every each and every blessing you can write i am grateful for and just keep on building the list and every night think of more and more things that you can be actually grateful for yeah. so these are a few things that if we stick to the routine it can really help people and it can motivate them abhi lag raha hai ki yaar kya fayda kyu kare but give it a try at least ek din to karke dekhen see what impact it has ha ah, bilkul and i guess these kind of things like you said will motivate you to get up in the morning even on these gloomy days Next, right now. uh any questions
Zubishan, when we when you spoke about obviously like we're saying how you know to increase learning, if working from home, how important is it to have a designated working space at home? Definitely, rather than getting angry at the family, there should be a designated place. It could be the garden, it could be the uh, garage, it could be any place away from the family and put up a little sign saying that this is my timings or tell them beforehand that these are the timings. Have headphones so that other noises do not distract you. But it should not be in bed. Definitely. Yeah, there should be a sitting uh, idea, which is comfortable with the back straight, etc. There should be a designated space and timings. to do the work, office Yeah, have have timings and let other people know that these are the timings. In fact, you're helping other your team members also have a kind of a routine where they can spend time with the family as well as work. Yeah, and, Excuse me. and um, Zubishan, for mothers as well, like, you know, working from home, having kids as well. So, you know, balancing work uh, and balancing um, family life, you were asking how about is it to learning and back? growth as well. So mm. what I feel is I was talking about uh, the growth zone and the learning zone. The thing is, after after this particular lockdown, you should emerge a better version of yourself. Definitely. And if we don't, then all this time has actually is lost. It was just it was just lost time, which we can never get back. Yes, definitely. Um, Zubishan, we have a question online. Um, Kizar Nawaz says, um, my sleep routine is really messed up. How can I improve that? As I said, uh, when I was giving a kind of a day routine to everybody, uh, the mother of the house me as uh, the father who could be doing the online work as well. Everybody needs a break. Maybe there could be a, just like there's a workspace, there could be a me time space as well for everybody, uh, Nori. But, yeah. We've lost connection. Sorry, we've lost connection. Viewers, if you bear with me, we'll be back online with Zufi Jan. We're just trying to reconnect back to Zufi Jan. And she's so, back online. It's okay. Yes. Apologies for that. Noreen, you asked me about learning and growth. So yeah. I will repeat what I have said, that if we are not a better version of ourselves, um, then it's lost time. And there are so many uh, zones of growth, but I'm going to share four with you. The first, which I and it might be a repeat, but the first is physical. You should be fitter, physically better, stronger, your muscles, your body. You should be more energetic after after this lockdown. So each and every day, this zone, need, there, there needs to be a lot of uh, growth in this particular, in the physical zone. And the thing is that um, foods are also an essential part of it. So now when, when we are working or we are in a hurry or we can we often go for some unhealthy options as well but this is an ideal time to bring yeah. in some healthy habits ha habits mm -hmm. as well so mm -hmm. physically is the first growth zone that you can concentrate on and the easiest so and another part of physical is uh, the beauty aspect as well if you feel your hair are losing well you can put some you can oil your hair or have the entire family go into a makeup regime. By makeup, I mean facials, mm -hmm. manicure, pedicure. You know, the other day my oh, daughter made a, made a facial. 
we know. Oh. I think I think that as well, Sufi Shan, with the parlor being closed right now, you know, the females, I think that's another anxiety attack <laughs> with no parlors open right now. And for men as well, like my husband, you know, he was complaining that, oh, I need a haircut, you know, look at my hair. So I think, you know, both male and female are going through the whole appearance shock as well <laughs> because we do right. not have you know, the necessary needs right now to look beautiful. Well, we can we can start with facials, and uh, for the husbands, they can your your Pony kids can facial. put on two ponytails on him when he's not working. <laughs> and homemade face masks as well. I mean, I made um, one the other day with banana and um, yogurt. Anything I could find in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, and my daughter made have... one with the uh, with chocolate <laughs> as well, and we looked so funny. And it was it was a fun thing that you know uh, it's good. Your skin and hair should glow. It's part of a growth as well. These are small little things, but now that yeah. we have time, we can work towards it. Um, the next thing is psychological and emotional growth. Look, uh, as I said, that a lot of people might be crumbling in this lockdown, but this is an ideal, ideal opportunity for self-awareness. We always say we don't have time, but become an observer of your own self that, you know, why am I behaving like this in crisis or yeah. this is an ideal time to learn to deal with uncertainty. The, you know, the behaviors, the attitudes learned in this particular lockdown situation are going to be so beneficial for all of us in our life because life is not certain. The only constant is change. Lekin, we don't believe in it because our brains are, are hardwired to resist change. So yeah. how well we are going to adjust to this change is going to have an impact on the rest of our lives. And then yes. because I've put emotional and psychological in the same growth zone, become observers of how your family behaves, maybe behavior towards you. Maybe they are afraid of you or why don't they communicate? So these are the times to mend relationships. Mm -hmm. And then it's also a time to develop emotional intelligence. Come on, we we collectively as human beings and and especially in our kind of society, we are emotionally weak. So yeah. if we try to develop more emotional intelligence, uh, you know, we can we can learn conflict resolution and can conflict resolution will be good in our personal life as well as in our professional lives. So yeah. the thing is that we should work towards improving ourselves psychologically and uh, emotionally. Um, if we do that, we'll become better in our problem solving as well. You know, there are little, little things that will have an impact. Why we talk about growth and learning is that, you know, it's time to let go of past baggages. And this is a very good time that we move move on kare, uh, from these things. And if we don't do it now, we won't get this opportunity ever and ever again. So this is the time for self-reflection and it is a time for redemption and new life will unfold after after all this lockdown is over and you will be much better prepared for it. And the final two. Yes. Do you have, have a question, Nori? No, um, just to like end everything, um, it, it's been excellent how, you know, all this advice that you've given us, and I'm sure for our viewers as well, it's definitely going to make an impact. Um, just like, you know, with everything happening and obviously, you know, it's impossible to know, like you said, with everybody, you know, thinking what is the future? What does the future look like? And, you know, with anxiety and depression, how do we focus on the positives? How can we focus? Because there's so much going on right now. How can we focus on the positives and come that, out as better? Uh, uh, if you maintain a routine, it's going mm -hmm. to have an impact. And in the last zone, uh, which is the spiritual zone, I will share with you how we can all come out winners. Because mm -hmm. anxiety breeds more anxiety. There's no end to anxiety. It's a snowball effect. Or barti jayegi, barti jayegi, you know, we'll, we won't have better sleep. One thing I didn't put in the day-to-day -day routine was 
स्लीप इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अगर रात को एक बजे तक कोरोना वायरस के बारे में आप पढ़ते रहोगे तो नींद क्या खाक आएगी सो कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन योर स्लीप एज वेल बट द मेन थिंग इज डिस्ट्रैक्ट योर सेल्फ वाई डिड आई से पुट ऑन अ बीट म्यूजिक कौन करेगा ये अगर आप मतलब सारा वक्त इट इज अ चॉइस आई दिस और दैट मैं वरी करती रहूं या मैं कुछ और करूं बिकॉज वरी करने से आई एम नॉट फाइंडिंग अ क्योर for the virus and i'm not keeping my family happy either so it's a better choice that i distract myself all right get okay. away from the tv screens don't keep watching it wohi cheez repeat ho rahi hai aur dimag mein wo ek shadow sa aa jata hai and that shadow we carry in each and every uh, little task that we do in our life another mm-hmm. thing area of growth is intellectual growth and i've talked about a few things uh, already so read books uh go uh, enroll in online courses uh yeah. then um, and these things are to regenerate creativity ha huh? mujhe i uh, i had lost my train of thoughts hamare mind mein wohi uh, neural pathways bane hain kuch naya hum nahi kar rahe maine hobbies ki kyu baat ki ki we need newer connections in our brain so ye cheez jab hum will have more of uh, these new pathways हमारी क्रिएटिविटी वापस आ जाएगी यू नो वी वी हैव बिकम वी हैव दिस मेंटल ब्लॉक हमारी उतनी क्रिएटिविटी नहीं रहती है जितनी पहली होती थी सो फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर रीजन व्हेन यू डू न्यूअर थिंग्स न्यूअर न्यूरल पाथवेज आर क्रिएटेड सो उसके लिए डू ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो इंटेलेक्चुअल में आई ऑल्सो रिकमेंड अगेन जर्नलिंग राइटिंग डाउन वॉच डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज दे आर ब्यूटिफुल पॉडकास्ट आउट देर motivational videos and uh, as mm-hmm. i said write down your memoirs feed mm-hmm. to the brain we are not feeding to the brain sara vakat anxiety mein we are listening to our brain it's mm-hmm. time yeah. to talk talk to our brains which is called affirmation tell yourself that everything will be okay mujhe wo movie yaad aa gayi hai koi indian movie thi three idiots ya kya tha usse wo kehta all is well all is well right so what does it say it makes your mind say get out of the zone and yeah. and you know so it is it we have to stay optimistic we have to see okay. the positive uh, we have to see that the glass is half full and mm-hmm. the thing is alhamdulillah when we do gratitude which is the final spiritual zone ke andar uh, there can be growth whenever we we bring in gratitude anxiety and unhappiness and demotivation goes away look back in your life there's so much that uh, we all have achieved actually so keep the gratitude list and if you start your children on to starting that you have no idea about how successful their life is going to be then uh, be mindful be mindful mm. of things around our mind is full rather than mm-hmm. being mindful about it so jo activity kare wo mindfully kare concentrate khana kha rahe hain cooking kar rahe hain jo bhi kar rahe hain be mindful of that activity and not what else is going on in our minds and another way to bring about mindfulness is meditation meditate okay. each and every day there are two three uh, platforms there is headspace.com or headspace is an app Uh, mm-hmm. start with 3 minutes of meditation pehle lagega ki concentrate in your thoughtless ho hi nahi rahe hain but mm-hmm. it's just like practice 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 and mm-hmm. the more mindfulness you have uh, you will have less anxiety your mental health will improve your concentration yeah. will improve all right mm-hmm. and the final thing is whatever you believe uh, to be the divine source reconnect reconnect pray there is so much there is yeah. so much uh, belief that we have so reconnect yourself to the divine so these were at least the four zones that we can actually have learning and growth so i talked about the physical the emotional and psychological the intellectual and finally the spiritual these are where the easy ones i've talked about but there are so many more only you can decide that what things you want to bring in your personality jo sari umar kehte aaye na kaash main ye kar leta ya kar leti bilkul bilkul this is the time what if i had 
time. Yes, so now you have time. So now oh, if you don't do it, you are just an excuse builder. Yes. So, um, Noreen, if you are live, can you see any questions? I, I cannot see if people have any questions for me. But uh, my request to them is that if they post... Yeah, I think we'll have more questions coming in um, later. I think obviously, like you know, with the routine setting now with people working from home, their, their day usually starts at this time. And uh, we've had very um, positive um, responses. Um, we've had um, it's a very informative session um, and you know uh, uh, people who have tuned in um, have definitely um, enjoyed it and learned a lot from it so thank you so much Zufishan and if when the questions do come in Zufishan we can um, pass them on to you the questions and um, it'll be great if you could answer them for our viewers I will definitely do that so my last thing is guys nothing lasts forever not the bad times, especially. So, yes, but think about what you can take out of it. We yeah. have been shaken, coming to the first point, be a better version of yourself. Do something about yourself. Uh -huh. Take baby steps and stay positive. I send you love and light. Take care. Thank you so much, Zufishan. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving us your time today. We have learned so much. And inshallah, I'm sure myself and the viewers will take on these tips on board and all the points you've mentioned today. Thank you. And oh, I'm my God. How beautiful is that? That's lovely. Wow. <laughs> I thought I'll give them a tour of what all is out there, the pines, etc. And okay. I'll see you, inshallah, and I'll answer all your questions. Noreen, thank you thank so much. You so much. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Thank you, viewers.